Thank you so much. Um, as you just heard from the voice of God, I'm Pat Slovak. And I am privileged to be board chair for the Chicago Foundation for Women. Let me do my thanks first. First, I want to thank our board members, present and past, for their commitment and service. And I also want to give a special thanks today uh, for all the staff at the Chicago Foundation for Women. They do such an amazing job all the time, but especially in the past few weeks when they have handled everything they've had to handle with an amazing grace and commitment, and we are grateful. And finally, I, of course, need to thank my law firm, Schiff Harden. Uh, I appreciate their support for Chicago Foundation for Women and for my service on the board of CFW. As most of you know, CFW has been supporting equal rights and opportunities for women and girls since 1985. Truth, in 1985, fewer than 4% of institutional dollars went to women and girls. Our founders knew that women and girls were being underserved and shortchanged. They also knew that when we invest in women and girls, whole communities are made better. We will be healthier, safer, and stronger when equity is real. CFW invests in solutions to the most pressing challenges facing women and girls, economic insecurity, violence, and lack of access to good health care. Since we began, CFW has invested over $32 million in organizations on the front lines, providing, thank you. Those organizations are providing quality, affordable health care and education. They are advancing women in the workplace, and they're changing our culture to end violence against women and girls. In fact, over, over the past year alone, CFW invested more than $2.6 million, the largest annual grant making in our foundation's history, in local organizations impacting 51,000 women, girls, and gender nonconforming individuals. So in many ways, we have made progress since 1985, but the truth is that women and girls still receive only a small percent of institutional funding. And that is where CFW makes a difference. We are laser focused on women and girls. We use a gender lens and rigorous evaluation in our grant making, and we leverage our dollars by creating networks of providers who work together. We know that women are, and have always been, generous with their time and resources. CFW is daring to increase women's power as philanthropists. One way we do this is through our giving councils and giving circles, which bring women together to make collective investments. Since 2008, the women of our giving councils and circles have invested over $711,000 in our communities in the Chicago area. CFW believes that anyone, no matter your age, your race, your gender, your income, can give back and invest in their community. That is, we can all be philanthropists. There is a power in giving. It's sort of like a muscle. It gets stronger the more you work it. I want to personally dare the women in this room not to be afraid to build that philanthropic muscle you can think of CFW as your personal trainer. We are here to help you have maximum impact by connecting need, money, and solutions. We identify innovative and emerging organizations that hold great promise, and we connect them with the resources to ensure their long-term success. We bring together partners to collaborate. We fund research and advocacy to change laws and policies and we see results. More than two-thirds of the organizations for which CFW was the initial funder are still going strong 10 years later. As I look out at all of you, I see a room full of powerful women 
committed allies, and partners in this work. Your power comes from a passion for justice and for equity and a determination to get us there. That is our truth, and I dare anyone to try and stop us. Thank you. And now I am deeply pleased to introduce the indomitable Kay Sujata, President and CEO of the Chicago Foundation for Women.